Are you a high school dropout looking for reasons and motivation to succeed? Look to the men and women who worked hard to get a chance to play hard with their billions in wealth. These people of great wealth may not have gone through high school to get that diploma, but they sure gained much from their choices and their careers. Let's dive into why they dropped out of high school and how they became great successes. Stick around to find out what female billionaire's key to success is. This guy may have been named Hip Hop's first billionaire in 2019, but the name he was given at birth was Sean Corey Carter. And like his name, his life was much different back then too. After he attended three high schools, he dropped out at Trenton Central High School. However, that didn't stop him from loving music, and look how far he went with it. Currently, Jay-Z has won a phenomenal 23 Grammys with 80 nominations. As of now, anyway, who knows how many more he'll win over the years, though music is not his only business. When he's not making money with rapping, he's making money with his champagne and cognac brands, his clothing brand Rockaware, and is part owner of the Brooklyn Nets. Even though Jay-Z dropped out of high school, he has been quoted in saying that education is super important when he was at Carnegie Hall. Quote, I don't have a high school diploma or a college diploma, but still, for me to articulate, I had to have some form of schooling to articulate my thoughts. Jay-Z's stance on education is proven further with the grand gesture of establishing the Sean Carter Foundation. The purpose of this organization is to help young people with affording education, with scholarships, and to help motivate them education-wise with counseling. He also has a fine art collection worth $70 million, with art by Jean-Michel Basquiat. But all that art does not match up to Jay-Z's net worth of $1.4 billion. From humble beginnings, Amancio Ortega was the youngest of four children. He and his family were so poor that he heard his mother beg for credit at the local stores of La Coruña, Galicia, Spain. That was when he decided to leave school at an early age. He ended up working at a clothing store called Gala, but he made the best of the situation and started making clothes by hand there. He founded Inditex Group, which is what the fashion company Zara falls under. But this was not before he founded Zara itself. While Inditex was founded in 1985, Zara was founded by Ortega and his first wife, Rosalia Mera, in 1975. Incredibly, he is also the owner of Torre Picasso, which is a skyscraper of around 515 feet and 45 floors. Its worth comes up to $536 million. That's not hard to own when you're a man like Ortega and earn $400 million in dividends a year. And according to an article by Astrum People, he's also great at real estate with the value of his empire being around $10 billion. Though Ortega left the CEO position for Inditex, he still works with the company. But all the success does not go to Ortega's head, as he is a very humble man when it comes to publicity. He doesn't even have his own office. The same is not true when it comes to wealth. Ortega has a private jet and an equestrian center. Those luxuries are possible for Ortega with a net worth of $88.9 billion. You ever wonder who was responsible for the screen on your smartphone? You can thank Jo Kunfei for that. She's known for being the founder and CEO of Lens Factory, which is, according to Forbes, a smartphone screen supplier whose customers include Samsung, LG, Microsoft, and Nokia. But Apple and Samsung are her biggest clients of them all. Like Ortega, Kunfei started out with her own humble beginnings from working as a migrant factory worker as a teenager. In her early 20s, she set up a watch parts company with her family in 1993, thanks to being smart with her money by saving a total of $2,500. But her earlier attempts at being an entrepreneur happened as a little girl when she helped her family with money problems by raising animals. Kunfei finally found success in 2001 when she was able to land a contract with TCL, a Chinese electronic company. To CNBC, she said, quote, I have encountered many difficulties and setbacks as an entrepreneur, but the key to success is to persevere, especially during the most difficult times, end quote. Even though she dropped out of high school at age 16 for her watch company, she still managed to get certificates from a college. She was certified in computer processing, customs processing, and driving commercial vehicles. That's quite an incredible feat for someone who dropped out of high school. All of her years of doing business have led up to her and her family's current network worth of $14.2 billion. 
You know Richard Branson as the guy who founded Virgin Group, which is in charge of hundreds of companies, including, but definitely not limited to, Virgin Records, Virgin Mobile, and Virgin Galactic. As a boy, Branson struggled in school due to his dyslexia and left Stowe School without any diploma to look to his dreams. He went down the right path as he opened up his own business, which eventually became Virgin Records. And luckily for Branson, this particular company became a success with the signing of the Rolling Stones, the Sex Pistols, and Culture Club. Eventually, he sold Virgin Group, which made him incredibly sad. Then he founded V2 Records Benelux in 1996. This is a company that represents many labels, including Beggars, Butler Records, Munich Records, and many more. But Branson's endeavors went from a record company to outer space. He founded Virgin Galactic and Virgin Orbit, which are both companies that are dedicated to the space industry. Watch out, Musk and Bezos. Though through all of his ups and downs, he still lives quite comfortably. Branson lives on a British Virgin Islands retreat on Necker Island that he bought for $180,000. Though his net worth could buy thousands more of those islands, with it being $5 billion. Everyone who's ever wanted or owns a car knows of Henry Ford as the man who was responsible for the existence of automobiles. Though would you believe he was a high school dropout? At 16, he dropped out as his family was so poor they couldn't keep him in school. Though he had little interest in school and did a poor performance as a student anyway. With the additional dislike for farming, he left both school and farm life to begin anew in Detroit as an apprentice. His father gave Edison 40 acres of timberland just so Ford could return to farming. Although Ford accepted the offer, he was lying through his teeth and built a machinist workshop upon the same land instead. He soon became the chief engineer at the Edison Illuminating Company where he met Thomas Edison. Ford then wanted to make cars for the common man. At the time, cars were only supposed to be for the rich. Ford was luckily aided with $28,000 to establish the Ford Motor Company. According to Philanthropy Roundtable, quote, at the time when cars regularly sold for $1,000, he was soon selling the Model T's for $345, end quote. Though much like Ortega, Ford didn't care much to have his life completely taken over by his success. Ford went to his wife's garden club instead of going to the White House, even though he was invited to go. The king and queen were even going to be there, but the Ford family came first for him. Even when selling cars for cheap, Ford ended up with his great net worth, which is $199 billion today. Horses and skyscrapers aside, did you know that Amancio Ortega does not believe in wearing a tie? That's because despite being a fashion guru, he prefers to wear simple clothes. If you were rich, what simple habits would you keep? Leave your answer down in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time!